Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video, but I'm going to do this, I'm going to do like the, um, I'm going to do like uncut. So this video, I'm not going to like, um, edit it at all. It's just going to be, yeah. So let's get started. So I already did my skincare and my eyebrows off camera because I feel like, um, just to get that out of the way really quickly. So I'm gonna go in and um and start with the makeup look. So I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. So today I wanted to do a no makeup makeup look. So I love to use something like this for a no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And the brush that I absolutely have been loving to use for foundation is the Morphe and Ariel brush number eight, A24. So I'm just going to apply this to the face. And I've been really liking not to using that like swiping motion like this. I've been really liking to kind of tap in all of my products because I feel like I get better longevity when I tap things in and I don't know it just looks better and my makeup lasts a lot um, longer and I don't know and I don't really like to use like so many like brushes I just I use this one for like um, foundation and I use it for to like um, press things in and I basically use it as a beauty blender um, when I'm using or I'm doing my foundation because when I do the sweeping motions I um, kind of tend to all the time have like um, brush strokes in the foundation when I apply it and then I go in with a beauty blender to press it all in. But with this, when I do the pressing motion, it really um, helps to um, just have it look like skin. I forget the powder. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm finding a brush right now. Okay, so I'm going to take the e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. I love to use this when I'm doing an everyday look or a look like this. I just like to just apply this to the under eye area and on the lids as well. And since this is a no makeup makeup look, I'm just going to apply the concealer there and nowhere else. And I'm going to just let that kind of soak in a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the brush that I'm going to use. So I love using a brush like this for um, blending in any concealer. This is the Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush, and it's so great for right underneath um, the under eye area because it, it looks it um is shaped kind of like a finger so i can get right up in there and conceal so i'm going or and blend i'm going to just blend in the concealer that we placed on the eye and then also underneath Okay, now I'm going to set the face. So I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I love this powder. This one is one of my favorites. I definitely still have a lot left. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie, by the way. I've only tried this shade. I definitely want to try more of the shades because I heard like Cupcake is really good. I wanted to try Cupcake. That's, I think, the next one I wanna try. Oh my, there's a lot of powder. Okay, so my favorite brush to apply 
or set the face with is the Morphe and Ariel brush number A14. I'm just going to place this in the T zone because that's where I mostly get oily. I just like to kind of set that there first. And then I'm going to go in with a bigger brush. I like to go in with a brush like this. This is the Sigma F30 brush. And I just like to press this in on the sides of the face. And I'm also going to go on the lids just to set that area as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into blush. One of my favorite powder blushes is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love just to use this shade sometimes and other times I do apply like a cream shade on top, um, like I apply the cream shade and then the this blush on top of the cream and it looks amazing. So I'm just applying the blush in stippling motions on the cheeks and then I like to go on the bridge of the nose and on the forehead. Oh, and by the way, this was the Morphe and Ariel brush number A22. I'm going to go back into the foundation brush and just kind of press this in just to not only um, soften the blush, but also to kind of blend it a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the to mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I should have gotten a new tube. I was at Sephora yesterday. I didn't know why I didn't get it, but I was there. I went past the Tower 28 section and I didn't get it. I should have. Like I said, this is the Make Waves Mascara. This is in black. So I'm just going to apply it to the top lashes. I'm not going to apply any mascara on the bottom lashes because I don't really like to do bottom lash bottom lash mascara anymore. I just do top. My clip is coming out. So I'm gonna move right into let's see, lip gloss. It's so or this is a lip oil. So I'm gonna use the Jaffra Beauty Pre Prebiotic Gel. I mean prebiotic lip oil. Uh, this one is in Love Potion. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to spray my Shovel Tilbury, Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I can't also forget to apply my Benefit 24-hour uh, brow setter. I haven't used this in a while, and I've been using it again, and I absolutely love it. I forgot how much I really enjoyed this brow gel, and it's it's really nice. So I feel enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing it. Um, so. Um, See you guys in the next one. Bye!